Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to turn on expanded desktop mode uh, to use Pi controls in CyanogenMod 10.1. Basically, uh, okay, so let me let me just show you guys. Okay, so I'm running a Nexus device and I have on-screen buttons to control the device, right? Back home, task manager. Uh, basically, this is how it works. Let me show you guys. System. Actually, I already have it on. Expanded desktop. Okay, you'll notice that my screen became larger in terms of like uh, viewing space and the control buttons have disappeared because when I slide on the bezel, my controls appear. So let's say when I go back. Okay, so let's say when I do back again, let me demonstrate that one more time. All right, so if you want to turn that on, it's there's a stipulation. Um, you must be running some sort of Nexus device that has no physical buttons at the bottom. Um, it, it doesn't have to be necessarily a Nexus device, but I'm just saying as an example. And the other stipulation is that if your device does have hardware buttons, like this, see at the bottom, there's four of them, you may or may not have the option that I just demonstrated, okay? CyanogenMod has said that basically it will be available to for certain devices that have hardware buttons, but not all of them. And that they might try to add more devices to that list. So there's no guarantee it's going to be available for you in the first place, but here's how you find out. <clears throat> Basically, uh, what you do is, when you go to your phone system settings, go to system, at the bottom, looking for an option called Pi Control. If you do not have Pi Control, it means you can't do any of, like, you can't do this. Where is it? Oh, it doesn't want to work this time. It usually works on my thumb. Okay, there we go. You can't do that. If you do have Pi Control, here's what you do to turn it on. It's not that easy. I found it a little bit annoying. Go to Pi Control, and of course you want to turn it on in the first place, right? Like that. And you can change the size, whatever. You can actually have Pi Control on the left, right, and bottom. It, you do have that option. Um, and of course it says top screen, but whatever. Okay, so that's only like half of the options what you need to do to get Pi Controls up and running. The next thing you want to do is have the option to turn uh, expanded desktop on and off. So the easiest way to do that is while, let me just show you, it's easier like this. In the phone system settings, in the system menu yet again, what you want to do is hit the power menu button, or option rather. And you get a whole bunch of options down here. You can turn screenshots, uh, blah, blah, blah. You're looking for expanded desktop. Make sure it's check marked. So when you press and hold your power button, this is the menu you get, right? And there, I, I, remember I, I said screenshot. There's screenshots. So you want to take a screenshot, you just tap it. It took a screenshot. There's a little bit of lag, but whatever. You get the idea. Expanded desktop is currently on. But let's say I want to get my, phys uh, my, sorry, my control buttons back here again. I would tap expanded desktop and there expanded desktop is currently off if I want to turn it back on go to the same menu by pressing and holding the power button and hit expanded desktop there that's it so that's how you activate Pi controls in CyanogenMod 10.1 it's not difficult it's fairly easy it's just a little hidden off to the side and again it's not available for every device so if it's not available for you you know, it's unfortunately, it, it, there's nothing anyone can do about it except for the signage of mod team. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.